Good morning and welcome back to Keep It Up in Disney. Today is Monday, April 18th, and guess what that means? Full character meet and greets and hugs are back to the Disney World parks. So we're actually going to Animal Kingdom today. Not sure what characters will be out there meeting or able to be hugged, but we have heard since it was Earth Day weekend and it's kind of right around Earth Day that there might be some really rare characters out, even the hyenas riding around on the boats and a few other super cool things that we might get to see, some super cool characters. Maybe we'll get to see Kevin again. Maybe we'll even find Divine today, who knows? And also Expedition Everest just reopened two days ago on the 16th. So I'm gonna be able to do that today. I'll probably just hop in the single rider line so it'll be super quick because Jamie does not go on that ride. But so happy to get back on Expedition Everest. Didn't know if I'd be able to on this trip and now I'm pumped. So it's gonna be a great day and we will see you in the Animal Kingdom. And we're in. Made it. Yeah, we are at the Animal Kingdom. And I wanted to show off my outfit real quick. I'm doing a Disney bounding as Jane or a Safari girl. You comment below what you think this looks like. Um, I don't have brown hair like Jane, but. But also, literally, we walked in and look right here. Look who it is, Divine, right after I was just talking about it. She's here. This is crazy. Wow, I can't believe we found her instantly. She is so cool. Wow, she is incredible. She's really so cool. She blends in so well. Hey, Divine. There it is, the tree of life. It's Donald and Daisy, and I think its name is Launchpad McQuack. That's Launchpad McQuack. Yeah, do your flex. Oh, he pointed at me. He liked it. He gave you a fist bump. Animal Kingdom is always just fun. It's got such a different vibe. And we had heard that they were released today, but here is the Pirates Collection. I'm so excited about this because I can actually just get the bag while we're here. And I won't have to wait to order it online. I actually do really like the ears for the Pirate Collection too. And this pin is much bigger than I expected. Really cool, actually. Let's check out the bag. The bag is what I'm most interested in. Ooh, and it's honestly really nice. I love this bag. It's beautiful. I'm gonna have to get one. Leaving the main area and heading towards Dino Land, there's Russell. This is seriously so cool. Wow, so many good characters out today. Jamie's gonna meet Russell. And she can hug him. He can. Yeah, finally. Yeah, it looks like a It does. He does. Yeah. Thank you. He's got all the badges. Oh, wow. Look at him. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Where's your badges? Oh, well, you gotta go earn some. We gotta get some, yeah. Well, that's a good start. Sounds like a plan. Do we want to suit in for a picture? Ready for a picture, Jamie? He's being a gentleman. Those are perfect. We are at Disney's Animal Kingdom. You need to go up this way to the right hand side to see them both. Would you like to see them? That was awesome. Thank you, Pat. Hi, Kevin. Right 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 Trilobites does have special house made chips that Jamie really wants to try. And now we're going to ride Dinosaur. Currently posted at a 50 minute wait, and it is 11.15, so we'll see. We might be on by like 12, hopefully. And I was able to secure one of the MMMA, the Mickey attraction collection this time, though. Pirates bags, which is, it just dropped in the park today. So I was so excited to actually be able to find one here and not have to wait for the online release, which is amazing. And it's a really, really nice one. It is 11.50 and we're already heading into the pre-show, so we should be on by like 12, exactly almost, which is awesome. We're going to the research facility. We're about to board the time rover and catching it a little sooner this time. Throwback to when this used to be sponsored by McDonald's. On those pipes are the chemical formulas for ketchup, mustard, and mayo. And it's not even noon yet, so this line didn't even take 45 minutes, which is awesome. Are you ready to go catch those dinos? Let's go get that dino. It's the flux duct and the reclaimed time flux. Oh wow, that's funny. It's like powering Real up the chef, time machine. Guys. Are you ready to go back in time? I'm ready to go get those dinos. Me 
Dino Land, we might do a couple carnival games. So there are quite a few games around Dino Land, and I gotta go get my tickets over here. So I'm gonna buy a couple and then we'll do a few fun games. I'm not sure what yet. I really wanna win a Dino Prize. I grabbed three tickets, these are $6 each. And then also, I asked her how you got one of these buttons because it was super cute. And she said, all you have to do is donate a dollar to Disney Conservation Fund, and then Disney matches every dollar. So of course I did it. So I paid $19 for the three tickets and the button, and we're gonna go have some fun. Thank you. So if you make one basket, it's going to be a small Mickey Mini. Two baskets will be a medium, and all three baskets, you can choose one of the large prizes, okay? You guys can start. Good luck. Was it one? Did you get that one as well? Just one. Okay. Do you have the small Mickey or Minnie? I'll do a mini or a Mickey, sorry. Mickey? Yeah. No worries. I'm so excited. Thank you so Thank much. You. Have a great day, guys. Hey, I'm already getting my money's worth. Guys, Six dollars for the Mickey. Right you, okay? So excited, right. look. He's got a cool little Animal Kingdom print on his foot. He's adorable. Okay, so we're gonna do this one. You take the wiffle balls, you throw them on there. See the colored craters? The colored ones get you better prizes. So yellow is the biggest, white is the second, red is a medium, and blue is the small prize, but let's see if we do any. So I'll make a couple throws. Jamie might do a couple throws too. Here we go. So if you make it into a color, then you want to try to get no color, no price, okay? So you want to try to get it into Nothing. See this? There's colored holes in yellow. You want to throw one? White. Okay. Throw those balls. Jamie's gonna take there. a throw. It's gonna bounce around a whole bunch. So, it's close. Try one more. Yep, okay, Jamie's gonna do the last one. Okay. Oh, it was right between them. That's okay, no prize. So this one's fun. I've done this before, but with forest racing. Throw the balls up, and the farthest ones get you the farthest, and it's a race. And I'm mammoth number ten. Let's go with number ten. I want the triceratops. Oh, that's so cool. Wow. Thank you for joining us for Disney that looked fun. This is wildly different than a week ago because this area was absolutely empty with Everest shut down. And this is crazy now. It's so different. So I did go two for three on my tickets and prizes for Dino Land 2, and now I'm gonna catch the single rider entrance. Single rider? Yep. Or 
Everest. Should be awesome. I do wish that Jamie would try this ride. I feel like she'd be able to do it and it wouldn't be too bad. I mean, she did splash. She didn't like the drop, but she liked the rest of the ride. I feel like it would be the same here, so maybe eventually. We'll see. Also, the standby is posted at 45 minutes and I got into the single rider line at 12.30. So we'll see how long it takes. It is only 12.40. 10 minutes later, and I'm about to board Everest. I'm so excited. I did not think I would be able to do this while we were here. But what an amazing surprise and a great animal thing to be able to do. Here we go, I'm so excited. One of my favorite rides at Disney, possibly my overall favorite. minutes even from getting in the line to off the ride for single rider which is amazing. I was on the ride Jamie stopped and got. The Himalayan Ghost. So it looks like the Himalayan Ghost is Snow Leopard Vodka, Guava, and Minute Maid Premium Lemonade. Which sounds amazing. I was also considering getting the Avalanche Frozen Blue Margarita because it looks really really good. Um, and also the Shimmery Green one but it looks like it has like chili. Oh yeah, I see that. Oh. Chili liqueur. Interesting. I think, I think the one that you got is good. Yeah, it's amazing. Super fruity and delicious. And the guy that I was sitting next to on Everest, he actually was telling me it was super interesting. It was his first time on the ride and he said that where he's from, they actually have simulators of the ride of Expedition Everest for them to try. So he had done the ride through simulator before but never in real life and I never knew that there were Expedition Everest simulators around the world. That is so cool and how cool to be with someone for their first experience on the ride and get to kind of see their thoughts. He was so excited, it was awesome. When we've spotted the hyenas, a very rare sight. They're out on the boat, that is amazing. Wow, we've never seen them before. I wish they were meeting, that was so cool. Shinzi, Banzai, and Ed. And actually, like, while I was boarding Everest, I placed the mobile order for Satuli, but my window is open till 1.30, so we might make our way over there um, slowly and just kind of take our time, look for some characters, and then go head over there before our Flight of Passage Lightning Lane at 2 o'clock. Now we've got Safari, Mickey, and Minnie cruising down the river towards us. They're so much fun always. We love them. Oh, answer the call. The magic is calling. If you've never made a stop in the Otter Grotto, definitely recommend doing it because it's really fun to just check out the cute little otters swimming. Oh my gosh, we saw Gypsy Moth. We see Gypsy Moth. She's out. Hi there, friends. Hello. This is so cool. This is amazing. Rare characters. Oh, this is so cool. Wow. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? You're so pretty. I love all the colors. We are so happy to see you today. I wasn't sure what you were Wow. Wow. Wow, that is amazing. such beautiful. Oh, here he is. Wow. This fish is incredible. Look at that catfish. He's massive. 
Wow, right by the Tree of Life Garden. Definitely check out this catfish too. And there are little tamarins here too, right across from Creature Comforts, which is the Starbucks location. Look at them, they're so cute. And now we got some giant Galapagos tortoise. Look at them. They're amazing. Wow, they're huge. Just walking around there. We'll stand Terra treats here that we've really never noticed, but they have, oh ooh, God. that actually sounds really good. Granny Smith, Apple and Sprite, Sugared Lime Rim, and a Gummy Worm, wow. <laughs> but then I was noticing that they had tomato and cheese pizza slices and pepperoni, and I'm being a little critical, but I'm still not over that pizza window pizza from Epcot yesterday. Some of the not best by any means pizza I've had in Disney, I was saying, Terra Treats is probably even better, and that's sad because it's Italy of Epcot. After all that excitement of meeting Gypsy, we're headed back into the Valley of Moara, Pandora, to go catch Satuli for lunch. We are into Satuli to pick up my food. I'm so excited. Satuli is so good. So I'm here in Satuli Canteen. Jamie quick went up to ask about some chips that she heard they have as a side for the kids menu that might be like blue chips. I don't, I don't know what's gonna happen with those. I've never really heard of them, so she's just just inquiring to see if we can maybe get them. Or she wants to try them, so we'll see. But got the combination beef and chicken bowl, but then I always take off the sauce, the boba balls, and the veggie slaw, because I just like it to kind of be as close to just the meats and the noodles as I can. Every time I eat this, I always remember saying that surprisingly, I prefer the chicken to the beef, and sometimes I've considered just getting a full chicken bowl, but I do like to have the combination. I feel like it's good to switch it up, and it's delicious with the noodles, so always one of my favorite meals in Disney World, actually, and I really look forward to eating Satuli every time. And then Jamie grabbed a rum blossom from Pongu Pongu. Party, party. Outside and brought it in here to drink along with the meal. The other thing I mentioned that I really love about Satuli is that the drinks here for the fountain drinks are actually, it's like one of the only quick service where you can self-serve and fill your own drinks and get refills, so that's the best. Honestly, I'm gonna throw this out there as a tip. Even if you're in the middle of an Animal Kingdom day and you don't want a full meal at Satuli, but you're thirsty, and you're like me, and you typically drink drinks very fast and love refills, maybe consider even just cooling down, placing a mobile order for a drink at Satuli, and being able to use their fountain refill if, in case you need some more beverages during the day. Honestly, you get the most bang for your buck again, and I always like fountain self-serve drinks better either way. I kind of like being able to choose and just fill as I go. I always get the combination bowl, but Jamie has actually never tried it, so she's gonna go ahead and give it a taste. So that's like the chicken there, that's the beef, so. Clearly. Yeah, I, I um, hope she can tell. I did want to try the potato chips that they have here. They're like blue and like kind of orange. I was talking about them while you went and looked. And we can't find a way to order them on the menu. So here I go. Some nice like oven fired chicken. Get some little juices on it. The sauce is good, the sauce on the noodles, whatever it is. What do you think? I like it. Do you? Yeah. Why is this funny? Because I thought you were just saying it for the video. You looked like you didn't like it. No, I would eat it by itself. Yeah, just the chicken. I know. I and pick around healthy. the noodles too. I'm the same way. I also pick around the veggies and just eat the noodles and the meat. So I do kind of wish that I could get like just the meats or noodles or something, but the meats themselves are really good. Get a good like red piece of roast beef. That looks like a good one. Nice pink roast beef piece. Here she goes, trying the beef. What do you think? It's okay. So Jamie agrees with me. She, she likes the chicken better than the beef too. That's what I say every time I eat this. The chicken is probably superior overall, but I like having the combination and mixing them up. It's always fun. Overall, what are your thoughts? It's good, yeah. I like the chicken better. Me too, yeah. It's just a fun, different meal to have when you're at the theme parks. I think I'm just about finished up. I ate all the meat and most of the noodles that I could get out of the veggies. It's actually pretty tricky too because like, there are some veggies that look exactly like noodles. Like, tell me if you could tell the difference. This, like for example, this, this is a noodle. I would eat this. But this, these, that look quite like noodles, they are not noodles, those are vegetables. And they're very, very similar looking when all mixed together. So it is a little bit of work to pick out just the noodles if you're a picky eater. 
Satuli was amazing. And now we are on our way to Flight of Passage for, for our lightning lane. Time. Yeah, and our I first time on this trip. This morning. Jamie grabbed the lightning lane, which is amazing. And it's currently in a 120 minute wait. So good thing we don't have to wait two hours. So glad Jamie was able to score the lightning lane for this so we don't have to wait two hours. And this is probably our favorite ride, both, I don't know, one of our favorite rides for sure. I don't know, definitely. definitely my favorite ride. Yeah, in this it's amazing. I love this ride. Here we go. And we're in. On our way up to the floating mountains. And at the 120 minutes, the standby is all the way down here. So it'll be really nice to bypass all this with our lightning lane. And again, we didn't do the full Genie Plus for the day. So we didn't pay the $15 per person to book rides like the Safari, Everest, Dinosaur. We just paid, I think it was $15 per person basically for this one individual ride. So we are essentially paying $30 to bypass the line right now, but let us know in the comments if you think that's worth it to save two hours in the park. This queue and the theming here is seriously just so incredible though. And now we're entering the cave area. I like this part. You'll see all these little like depictions of the Navi and the banshees all along the walls. Kind of telling the story. You can actually see Taruk too. And maybe I can even become Taruk Makto. Are you gonna become Taruk Makto? What? Taruk Makto. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> we did watch Avatar the other week. It's when he when he captures the big red guy and is able to fly on him. Oh, then he, yeah. he becomes Taruk Makto. Okay. <laughs> And since this is one of the, probably the fanciest ride in Disney World for a lightning lane, except maybe Rise of the Resistance, there is one of the double scanners. So you gotta do a double checkpoint to make sure that you got a lightning lane, just in case anyone slipped by the first. How many? Two. All right, you right over there. Thank you. We're going to Link Chambers. It's all coming back, so coming back to me now. I'm gonna ride the final passage in Animal Kingdom. <laughs> okay. Are you excited? Yeah. Me too. I'm so excited we're finally it's riding it. $22 for this ride. Okay, so, correction. The lightning lanes are not 15. They're, it sounds like they're 11 per person for it this was ride. 11. Yeah. So, 22. Yeah. Let us know in the comments if you think that's worth it. I think it is. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're saving two hours. So, yeah. I'd say, yeah. I For this one especially, and Rise of the Resistance, I think Rise was a true 15. That one was actually 15 bucks the book, but this one at 11, that's not terrible. It's, it almost always still has a two plus hour wait it even gets up to three some days and just like that we are about to board see the screen we are in the link chamber searching them unfortunately banshees live high in rookeries and humans can't get anywhere near them without <laughs> becoming their lunch but the navi and avatars can Welcome everyone. I'm Dr. Jackie Ogden from the Pandora Conservation Initiative. You're about to experience a ceremony that's very special to the Navi. Flying on the back of a drone, or as we call it, a banshee. Here we go. Getting ready. There I am. You ready, Jamie? Let's fly. Sivako! Feel the banshee breathing. by the Tree of Souls. Ewa has favor upon us. Wow. We are off Flight of Passage. It was amazing. I think it, it was, was probably one of my favorite times ever riding it. Yeah, I mean, that ride is always awesome, but for some reason I was just really, really enjoying it today. I was just like really in the moment, feeling the ride. And now I don't know. that I know 
now that I've watched the movie. Yeah, after re-watching the movie, it is so cool to see and like recognize all the creatures and things happening. Yes. Oh, and here come Mickey and Minnie on their little riverboat. They're the boss. Answer the call. Oh, that was cute. Answer the call. Love that song. We hope you enjoyed getting to see just the first half of our Animal Kingdom day so far. Our last Animal Kingdom day on our 2022 trip, we had an amazing time playing some dino games, riding dinosaur, getting to ride Everest for the first time on this trip since it reopened, getting to hug all the characters. While editing this video, we still have the second half of our Animal Kingdom day coming later, where we're gonna be watching the Festival of the Lion King, riding the safari, and more. So. If you enjoyed this video, do make sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell button to make sure you're notified anytime our new videos are posted, because we still have quite a few more from this trip coming, and a lot more fun videos coming this year. And as always, thanks for keeping up in Disney, and we'll see you real soon. Adios. Bye.